Well, Indonesia's G20 presidency is coming to an end with the hosting of the leaders' summit in Bali. Has Jakarta maintained to maintain, managed to maintain a steady course during the turbulence in world politics? Chan Nivatwani looks at the challenges President Joko Widodo faces in his bid to unite the world and efforts to come up with a leaders' declaration at the summit. It's time. A G20 summit against a post-pandemic backdrop, a Russia-Ukraine war, food and energy crises, and a world plagued by global uncertainty and market instability. President Joko Widodo has invited all G20 leaders, despite mounting pressure from the international community to exclude Russia. He has also invited Ukraine to the table, as Indonesia maintains a neutral position in line with its traditionally non-aligned stance. It's a tough spot for Mr. Widodo. Analysts say hopes are pinned high on the G20 host, who is under pressure to demonstrate a successful leadership and legacy, and one who has emphasized Indonesia's desire to to unite the G20. Jika uh, Presiden Jokowi uh, bertindak uh, menurut kehendak dari Amerika Serikat dan negara-negara lainnya, Presiden Jokowi akan dikira sebagai pemimpin yang lemah. Sebaliknya juga tidak uh, akan dianggap sebagai presiden yang mendiamkan apa yang terjadi di Ukraina. Sehingga Presiden Indonesia memilih jalan untuk berjalan di tengah-tengah. Sebab bagaimanapun juga kalau kegiatan G20 diboikot oleh salah satu negara, itu akan menjadi uh, dalam tanda kutip tamparan bagi tuan rumah. At a G20 side event recently, Mr. Widodo reiterated the need to set aside differences and work together towards economic economic recovery Dalam mengatasi masalah-masalah bersama kita harus bekerja bersama-sama Kita harus menurunkan ego kita masing-masing Kita harus berupaya keras mengatasi perbedaan-perbedaan memperbanyak dan memperkuat titik temu untuk mendorong pemulihan ekonomi dunia serta mengatasi krisis lebih efektif. Multilateralisme merupakan jalan yang paling efektif untuk mengatasi tantangan bersama. According to observers, Mr. Widodo has been laying out the groundwork for a successful summit with preparations starting well in advance. Tiga bulan, enam bulan, tujuh bulan yang lalu ketika Presiden Jokowi pergi ke Rusia, Ukraina itu situasinya tambah rumit lagi. Ada perang, ada pandemi. Dan nyatanya sekarang semuanya berjalan seperti normal sehingga persiapan-persiapan dulu sangat berarti. President Widodo has on several occasions said the momentum of Indonesia's G20 presidency must be a catalyst for global economic recovery and that multilateralism is the most effective way to face common challenges. High expectations and high tensions. President Joko Widodo certainly has his work cut out as he has to not only ensure that the two-day meeting runs smoothly but also that world leaders all agree to come to the table and engage in productive discussion. Chani Vatvani, CNA, Bali.